welcome back to my channel after two months and this video is a little different i'll be teaching you guys how you can paint a tote bag so this is not a plain tote bag it has the company name on it so i'm thinking of transforming into something i like or you can do it based on your likes yeah okay so to do that you guys need a tote bag of course and acrylic paints fabric softener if you use acrylic paint directly on the cloth it might get crusty later so you have to like repaint it and you can't even remove it out so if you use a fabric softener it will help the paint stay on the cloth for more years or many months so yeah any fabric softener works so i'm using this so yeah let's start lay out your tote bag and cover four sides using masking tape So yeah, after you put the uh, masking tape on, take your palette, put on some, so we are gonna do the base full white and then we will draw on it and then we will color it. So take some fabric softener, so pour it. Select the base color, I'm using white acrylic paint, which is titanium white, and then mix it well with the fabric softener and start painting. Oh, I totally forgot. Before painting, You need a cardboard to put it under here so the paint won't soak through the it won't soak here you need that make sure you have a cardboard paint you can see i painted the first coat and the paint isn't that opaque so i'll be using this studio acrylics high viscosity by pbo so it is very opaque use a hard dryer to dry it out fast so if you want a natural method just add dry it it's gonna take you 24 hours of course so an easy way to dry out this is using a hair So yeah, but still you can see uh, the letters. You cannot do anything to that. So I chose a picture to draw. And I'm really scared that I will mess this up. So I'll try. I found this on Pinterest and this is one of my favorite drawings. And I really want to recreate it on here. I'll not be filming the drawing process because it will take hours for me to draw this. So yeah, keep waiting. This is what I came up with. It's a little messed up, the face. But it's fine, I'll paint the others for now. The colors I chose are very or kind of similar to the picture I showed you guys. The only thing I changed was the hair color because I wanted something purple, kind of like that. So yeah, I changed it. 
you guys can also change the colors and not just paint according to the picture you've chosen. So it's all up to you guys. So just be creative and have fun. From here, I'll be just painting the whole video. So if there's any instructions I want to give you guys, I will update it. So yeah, stay tuned without me interrupting you guys from watching this video. Now I'm adding little details at the background because I wasn't able to avoid the stains. <laughs> so yes, finally completed the painting. It looks very cute, just as expected. So hope you guys found this video helpful and comment down below what you guys want to see next.